Good day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick comparison video between Ubuntu 20.04 on the left and Ubuntu Budgie Edition also 20.04 version on the right. So let's get into it and starting off throwing up a few details here but as we can see here both based on Ubuntu 20.04 Probably the key difference about these two is that uh, the one on the right, so Budgie Edition, is a really a, an in-house built uh, a desktop environment called Budgie there that's closely uh, related to the GNOME stack. But it is very Ubuntu, oh sorry, should I say Mac-esque, so it's very uh, commonly sort of referred to or cloned by any Mac OS de device. So a lot of distributions out there that uh, claim to be Mac OS sometimes have this uh, this, I guess, uh, setup going on here, very Mac-ish. And uh, if I was to, uh, yeah, load this up here, and we can see the GNOME desktop environment, uh, which is just uh, for Ubuntu here. So it is uh, the default desktop environment, so a little bit different in nature, just with the way that the menu works and that sort of thing there. Let's see if I can scroll across. This actually looks a little bit like on the budgie side, a uh, bit of a uh, maybe XFCE or, or standard GNOME, but we can click through a lot of the apps. We've got we've got the H up uh, H, H you do display, so which means we can throw up anything that we want and find everything that we need. But uh, let's move across to say the the file manager and have a little bit of a look at that one there too. See what we're working with. Just one big surprise here, and we are actually finding it's the same type really. So if we go to a menus option here, if it uh, actually even allows me to, let's see. Uh, just calls it the GNOME files or, or the files file manager here. So pretty much the same on both ends there. Nothing to really write home about there for the meanwhile either. Now, uh, moving on, they are both based on the long-term service release, Ubuntu 20.04. So that means they are both supported until 2025. So that's really nice to see there. Uh, they are both running on the one of the latest and greatest kernels, great for later hardware, that sort of thing there. So very nice to see there as well. And probably last not but, but not least is uh, what we are dealing with with say the, uh, the CPU usage and the RAM usage. So this is where I think it gets a little bit interesting here. Ubuntu in the left corner has about 690, 700 megabytes of RAM straight off the bat, so straight on boot up. There's nothing really else loaded here whatsoever. So a bit of a baseline comparison. And then Budgie on the right hand side almost hit in, uh, in fact, if we leave it a second, might actually hit exactly a gigabyte of RAM. So a lot more, uh, I guess, resource heavy, which is a little bit of a shame, I would think, because it's such a beautiful operating system, just the way that it works. A very, uh, like I say, Mac-esque, so it uh, does everything that it needs to do there in terms of visuals. Uh, we've got our software, uh, I guess, software sources and everything that we need our, our software app to, to load things up but um, yeah that's pretty much it in a nutshell guys just a really simple silly little look at uh, these two operating systems here they are in a way very very similar in the back end uh, the front end not so much a little bit different although they are based on the based on the gnome snack stack should I say if I can get my words correctly here today so it's uh, yeah just a little bit of an interesting look at these ones guys and uh, yeah thanks for watching please leave a comment subscribe Oh, we have hit the gigabyte of RAM, yes. And uh, yeah, so thanks again, and I uh, hope to see you guys in the next one. Cheers.